Imagine finishing hours of deep work in seconds because AI runs your entire workflows for you. Not a chatbot. I'm talking about an AI tool that opens websites, navigates, runs code, fills out forms completely on its own. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, I'm diving into Retriever AI, and this is the first AI agent I've tested that actually gets things done in your browser. Retriever researches websites, executes multi-step actions, scrapes data, compares products, and even runs JavaScript and MCP tools on command. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how Retriever works and a few insane real world demos. Of course, the link is gonna be in the description as always, let's jump into it. To get started, head on over to retriever.ai. Now, before we jump in for the best results, you're gonna to wanna to use Google Chrome. Now we have a couple of options, so we can look at the very top, we can use the cloud, leverage the extension, or even use WhatsApp. Now, if you want the full experience, I recommend installing the Chrome extension this is what unlocks true browser automation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the extension at the very top right here. Let's add this to Chrome. Okay, I'm just gonna come over to my extensions at the top. Let's go ahead and pin this to our taskbar so it is super accessible. And then let's click on Retriever AI. It's gonna open up this side panel. So welcome to Retriever. And let's go ahead and sign in with Google. All right, here we go. Looks like we're all signed in and ready to get started. Now here's the best part. All you gotta do is tell Retriever what you want and it's gonna execute the process step by step. All right, let's jump into the first demo. So we're going to scrape data and automatically build a Google Sheet. So I do have a prompt for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it into the chat box here. I want Retriever to head over to this specific link and I want to filter for summer of 2025. I want Retriever to scroll until all companies are loaded Then create a Google Sheet with the name, location, tagline, industry, and website URL. Let's go ahead and punch this in. Okay, I'm just going to allow additional access for Retriever to access my Google account. Let's go ahead and approve that. All right, so we can see it getting to work here. So Retriever has taken control of my browser and it is going through this list of companies that I have provided here. And look at this, it has successfully extracted the data. So that is a good sign. Okay, it's saying, let's break this down. The objective is incredibly straightforward. I need to interact with a checkbox. So I have my prompts, it's extracting everything, it's getting to work. So we're gonna watch Retriever in real time. It's gonna open up the site, scroll through everything automatically. It's gonna extract all the company info, then create a Google Sheet, add the columns and fill out every row perfectly, which would normally take anybody, could be a few hours, it would be a very tedious task. I don't think anybody wants to do that. Now you're gonna notice at the very top of the browser, we do have a tab here, Agentic Tabs, we can see the exact tab that Retriever is going ahead and leveraging and kind of taking over autonomously. While everything's going on, you're gonna see a thought process going on in the chat box here. So you can keep an eye of the logic and how things are coming along. All right, here we go, let's have a look. So here is our spreadsheet. We're just gonna take a peek at this. So we have the top row, we've got the tagline, the industry, the company name, the website, the location. This is incredible stuff. This took maybe a few minutes max to get all this in the spreadsheet. And this is exactly as I asked. All right, and if we navigate to any of the links, I'm just gonna test one of these. So this is F2. Yeah, we can see the company in this link. So of course you can get super creative with this one. Maybe you have a tedious task you wanna take care of. This is gonna be the kind of platform that you wanna leverage. Okay, now also on the right-hand side, we can see the necessary links. So this is our output link, and this is gonna go right inside our Google Drive. Now I'm just over in my drive, and I can see it went ahead and made its own folder. So we've got retriever, extract data, and we have our spreadsheet right here and it is in my drive. All right, now we're gonna take things up a notch with the next demo. So let's test out Retriever on a real productivity workflow. I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to a job board. So let's get on over to Indeed. This is a job search website. All right, now I have my job board loaded up and I'm gonna type in a prompt for this one. So here's my idea. And I'm gonna say this, I want Retriever to apply to this job for me using the resume in my Google Drive. I want Retriever to upload the resume, fill in every form field, and write a short personalized cover letter based on my profile explaining why I'm a strong fit. Okay, let's go ahead and punch this in. I'm just going to confirm with Retriever the exact URL of the job that I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Okay, here we go. It's going through all these stages of this job application on Indeed. All right, it is going super quick. Blink and you might miss it. Okay, here we go. Now we're just on the last step and I just actually went ahead and 
and paused retriever. So we have all the information for this particular job. So I do have my resume here. It is uploaded. It has been retrieved from my Google Drive. We have a couple of employer questions like how much experience I have. Once I'm happy with everything, I would just come to the bottom here, click on I'm not a robot. Okay, we are all checked and I can go ahead and submit the application right here. Now, just a quick overview. So Retriever is going to go ahead and detect the fields on the page. It's going to upload the correct resume from your drive. It's going to autofill your name, your email, your phone, experience, all the details, and then any other tasks that you give it and then submit the application for you if desired. All right, now we're going to move on to the third and final demo. We're going to execute MCP tool. So in the Retriever chat box, if I come over to the bottom, I can actually copy the MCP URL right here to my clipboard. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to come over to an MCP client, just like Claude. So I've got Claude opened up right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the middle button right here search and tools. Let's click on add connectors at the very bottom. Okay, I'm just on the connector section. I'm going to go ahead and click on add custom connector. And this is where I can write in the name. So why don't we go with retriever, retriever AI, and then I'm going to copy that link from earlier. We can just skip advanced settings for now. Let's go ahead and click on add. And here we go. We've got retriever AI connected. Okay, now you might be asking, what does this all mean? So once I go ahead and interact with Claude, let's say I open up a new chat and then when I go ahead and make a request here, Claude is going to leverage Retriever behind the scenes to handle various tasks. Okay, now I want to give Claude, powered with Retriever on the back end, an interesting task. So here's my request. I'm going to pop it in. Using Retriever, I want you to search YouTube for the top five most viewed videos about AI productivity tools. I want you to extract the title, creator, views, upload date, and URL, then create a Google Sheet and fill in the data. So let's go ahead and punch that in. So essentially what's going to happen here is Claude is going to send the task to Retriever. Retriever is going to open up YouTube, collect the data, and then Claude is going to return a confirmation and link to the finished Google Sheet. Okay, so right away I can see Retriever. It's opened up the AI productivity tool. So it's searching this. This is not me doing this. This is all Retriever. So this is pretty cool stuff. Again, it does happen very fast before your eyes. Perfect. Now let me upload this to Google Sheets using the Retriever tool tool. So there we go. That's exactly what we want to see. All right, here we go. So it has successfully extracted data from the top five most viewed YouTube videos about AI productivity tools and created a Google sheet with the information. So here's what it found. We got all the top five videos here, best AI tools to use in 2025, five AI tools I use every day. Let's open up the spreadsheet. Okay, so here we go. We're just on our new Google Sheet. Let's have a look. So these should be the top five videos here. I'm just going to hover my mouse over each of these links and you can see we have the video with the link. So here we go. That's the first one. Here is the second one, the third one, fourth one, and fifth one as well. So I'm actually going to open up this last one. These are five AI tools that I use pretty much every day. All right, so there we go. There is our demo that leverages our MCP tool. So Claude, in this case, with Retriever seamlessly. Now, when it comes to other use cases worth mentioning that you could leverage with Retriever, maybe we're talking about auto posting to LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever your favorite social media platform is, shortcuts for workflows you run every day, pulling stock, crypto, or company data into Google Sheets, maybe lead gen and competitive analysis prompts, or maybe WhatsApp automations for prompts on the go. All right, now it is time for some final thoughts. So Retriever handles automations, scraping, product research, code execution, decision making without plugins or setup. Now, if you're wondering how Retriever compares to other web agents on the market, in a recent Illuminate web bench, Retriever actually ranked number one with around an 81% task success rate, average completion time of under a minute, and one of the lowest costs per task out of everything tested. So you're not just getting a cool tool, you're getting one of the fastest, most reliable, and cheapest web agents on the market right now. And also a nice little bonus here is you can use Retriever for free by bringing your own Gemini key from Google's AI Studio. Just grab your key from AI Studio, drop it into Retriever, and you're good to go. So if you want to give it a try, be sure to hit the link in the description below at retriever.ai. So be sure to give it a go. Good luck with your use cases and I'll catch you on the next one.